that's what we need to do. Handbrake, is it on? Down here, Scott, we have a manual handbrake. Easiest way to check that it's on, is it up, is the car moving? There's also a red indicator. Can you see it on your dash? It's an exclamation mark with uh, in brackets. That tells you that the handbrake is holding. Okay. If at any point you feel the car gets in and slightly moves, just pull it up one more click. Okay. Yep. Next thing we need to do is doors. Are the doors all shut? First things we can do is first look. Are there any rattles or anything in the door? Okay. Also, you may see there's a lit up picture on the dash. Also, the interior lights come on. So there's a few different ways we know that the doors are shut. Next, we have our seat. What we could do to adjust the seating position, so there's a bar between our legs. That's going to adjust the seating position forwards or back. If we wanted to move forwards, we pull the bar up. Excellent. Like the way you grab the steering wheel to pull your body forward. Excellent. With this same seating position that you've just adjusted, you can now adjust the height of it. To your right hand side, there's two handles. The handle furthest forward, it will pump the chair up and down. To pump up, you pull it up, let it rest, pull it up. Excellent. How do you think it goes down? Push down. Excellent. The reason we're adjusting the height of the seat, we want to get the best view of the road ahead. And then finally is the back part of the chair, the bit that our back rests on. And now that's the handle further back, the smaller handle. If you pull that up, it'll let you lay down, it'll let you sit up. Excellent. The point of adjusting this is not only for comfort, can you get both hands on the wheel with a slight bend in the arm? No. Okay, so pull that handle up again. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reason we want a slight bend in the arms, it allows us to turn the wheel a lot faster. If we're out straight, we're not strong. If we're in here, we're nice and strong. And then the last part of it is the head restraint. We want the largest thick part of this head restraint to be in line with our eyes and our ears. So what we do to adjust the height on that, there's a button to the side that we press it and we can adjust it up and down to suit us. Cool, so that's your seat in position. We now want to adjust the steering wheel. And if you look just underneath the steering column, there's a little switch that you could pluck down. And when you pluck it down, the steering wheel can now move up, down, it can come towards you, and it can go back in towards the dashboard. When you're adjusting this, I want you to be able to have comfortable grip of the steering wheel, arms bent. I also don't want the steering wheel to obscure your vision ahead as well. Okay. And then the last thing as well is the seatbelt. Now to put on your seatbelt correctly, because you're in the driver's side, the right hand side, you need to use your left arm to go across your body. Now, when you're pulling the seatbelt across, try to make sure it doesn't get twisted. Okay. And if you'd like to click it in, and are we happy that it's not twisted at all? Yep. I like the way you pulled it nice and tight as well. Excellent. Great. So you just put your seatbelt on. Can I ask you to slowly pull the steer the seatbelt so it keeps coming out? Good. And then smoothly let it go back in. And we'll also make sure there's no cuts or tears in the seatbelt itself. Now, left hand again on the seatbelt, pull it very quick. Good. Feel that lock? Mm -hmm. It could save us in an accident, because what do we have here? Airbag. Absolutely. What's the airbag going to do? Prevent my head on the steering wheel. Absolutely. It's going to hit you like a shotgun, but it may save your life. Now, the last thing we need to do is adjust all of our mirrors. Okay. Firstly, our centre mirror. I would like you to adjust this mirror to get the best view of that back window using your left hand. Excellent. Can you see everything out that back window? Yep. Good. One thing I did notice that was very nice, you didn't lean towards it while you done it. You kept yourself in your driver's position doing that. Try and remember that every time you get in the car. And then we've got our door mirrors. So right now we're parked in on the left hand side. So we've got the curb on our side on the road on yours. We're going to be adjusting those to get the best view of whatever's going on on the respected side of the car. Okay. To adjust that, you know where you press the power button, there's a large mirror button. Mm -hmm. Cool. And there's an L and R above it. L and R, what do you think they do? Left, right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, when we're adjusting these door mirrors, you'll push it on the respective one. You're going to use that pad to move the mirror around. I want to see the door handles of this car just the door handles and as much of that road as you can. Yep. Also, 
we need to talk about the actual height of the mirror itself. So we're in a car, not in a plane. I don't want to see much sky. I want to see as far back down that road. I want the horizon to be about three quarters of the way up on your mirror. Okay. Same on this side as well. So whenever you're happy to do that, you can adjust those for me.